everybody welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel hashtag movie bay i am movie bay and in this video i'm going to be recapping and reviewing the latest episode of baddies east don't ask me what episode it is it's episode 100 at this point but before i get too into it though i would like for y'all to drop down and hit the subscribe button thank you because here on movie bay i do reviews reactions to commentary to movies and television and if that is the type of content that you like then you might as well hit the subscribe button and if you find yourself enjoying my commentary along the way don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and or drop a comment down below now right before i was about to record this video i went to instagram and i was gonna holler at my youtube bestie grant Lashawn. go subscribe to his channel by the way if you haven't already uh it's in the bio, okay? And I, right before I could even get to my messages, I see that Zeus made a post with Blueface talking about, it's a beautiful day at Zeus today. It's a beautiful day at Zeus today. Would you be mine? And Zeus has a new show coming out with Blueface where he is finding the next rap female superstar or whatever. I don't know, y'all. It's called Rap Queens West. So if you're interested, okay, go audition. <laughs> Look, the promo was very cringe and way too long for what it needed to be. But I just applaud Zeus at this point for giving us more content than baddies. But how much y'all want to bet that they're going to have a group of bitches in a house fighting each other? But as long as the show has a premise, okay, the girls are going to be offered a million dollar record deal courtesy of MILF Records. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a prize at the end. So hopefully this will bring along challenges and drama, okay? So applause to Zeus for bringing out more content because I'm sick of these baddies bullshit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode. Do y'all notice that when Zeus be showing fights in the trailer, it's never the same angle or version that they show in the episode. But anyways, uh, Mariah Lynn's sister Victoria comes and she squares up with Smiley like a few rounds. They had a few rounds. And in my personal opinion, I feel like Smiley got the best of her, meaning she got more licks in. I don't know why Victoria was trying to pull hair so hard. I have no idea. You should have just headbutted the bitch. <laughs> Would have knocked her clean out. I promise. Now, something that somebody pointed out, because I, I watched this episode on my phone, and I was in the Zeus comments. If you saw me, you saw me. If you saw me, you saw me. That's all I'm going to say. And somebody pointed out that Natalie tried to hit Mariah Lynn's sister. So I had to rewind it, and Natalie was trying to hit Victoria. Now, I honestly think that natalie thought it was like some random van but she also knew mariah lynn was bringing her sister so i have no idea i'm just gonna chalk it up to maybe she just thought it was like a random girl starting issues with the baddies and so she tried to swing but she didn't hit her um she was stopped before that even happened all right so you know it's the next day and we gotta listen to these hoes recap what happened um so we have these two lame ass ugly ass non-dressing ass bad bit built ass apparently smelly ass bitches um recapping the incident that happened between et and a fan at the club she's telling roly that she think biggie set her up because her and the, the person had words he hit her in the back of the head they had some more words and then he started chanting out biggie's name Okay, now I just want to let y'all know that E.T. told this story multiple times through this episode and every time she told it, there was a new detail that was added to the story. Obviously, we saw that she exchanged words with the man. He raised his arm up to record. It's very likely that his arm could have hit her in the back of the head. Okay, not saying that that didn't happen. But all these extra details you adding in, I really feel like you're embellishing and amping it up to try to get people to be on your side. And we're going to poke holes in the story a little bit later. But I just want to mention about, Roly, why is your, <laughs> bro, why is this wig cap so damn thin? Have y'all ever seen a wig cap that thin? Is it me? I haven't worn a wig since 2020. But I ain't never seen a wig cap be see-through, bitch. I ain't never seen that. But you know what? Let's give claps to Roly because the bitch actually got her hair braided underneath that cap. It's giving starter braids. It's giving D'Angelo. How does it feel? That's what it's giving. <laughs> bitch, I'm tripping. <laughs> bitch, I'm wilding. <laughs> she also pulls out this hair hat, and I was immediately thinking, Give E.T. her wig back. That ain't, why are you making fun of that girl like that? 
Well, here we are at the Delusional Bitch House, Delusional Bitch Club, and they're recapping last night. They're giving Mariah Lynn's sister, Mariah Lynn's sister her props, saying that she did her big one, and she absolutely did not. However, Rowley does share the information that Smiley was threatening Mariah Lynn's family, and of course, this is news to Mariah Lynn. She said that that's serious. You shouldn't threaten my family, like especially if the beef is between us, but if it's between y'all, why... Why are you bringing your sister in on it? They t- they have an issue with people bringing outside people to handle things. Mariah Lynn's sister is an outside person. The bitch is not on the cast. The bitch is not getting a check. The bitch didn't even get a confessional. Bringing outside people. Krishan brought outside people. Like Now we want to uphold this rule when it appeases or when it fits to the people that we don't like on the cast, like, no, if that's the issue, then send Mariah Lynn home too. Now, hold on. On one of my lives, one of my subbies said that they be sharing clothes and wigs with E.T. to help her out. And you know what? You might be right. You might be right. It's giving wig sharing. So here we have Sky and Natalie talking about how, you know, everybody's at a group consensus that Smiley has been some, doing some quote unquote weird ish and she needs to go home. So when the girls from house A, quote unquote, get to house B, quote unquote, Mariah Lynn runs up and starts trying to fight Smiley. And I say trying because nothing was landing. Mariah Lynn, you're just too little. It's giving T-Rex arms, girl. Like, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. It's how you get how you run up and get done up. Run up, get done up. Run up, run up, get done up. Like, I mean, I understand though. Somebody throwing my family too, regardless of a win, lose, or draw, I'ma handle that too. But like, girl, you start doing all this hooping and hollering and screaming and stuff, like girl, put your veins away. You ain't scaring nobody. Sis, don't nobody care that you having a temper tantrum right now. You look like a baby having a temper tantrum. Just go sit down and relax somewhere. All right, so now it's time to talk about this E.T. and Biggie situation. E.T. with this badass wig on, bad meaning bad, literally, ass wig on, comes and approaches Biggie like, okay, I got an issue with you. You set me up. Somebody hit me in the head and then started calling out your name. Of course, Biggie is surprised and shocked, and she was like, that's a setup. I didn't do that. Here's what I want to talk about. I don't think Biggie had that person do that. I honestly do feel like it was a fan. Now, I understand E.T. saying or feeling, okay, I'm getting into it with this person, this person hits me, and then all of a sudden they're calling out Biggie's name. Coincidentally, I got into it with Biggie earlier that day, so it must all be connected. Devil's advocate, okay, I understand that perspective. It's a stretch, it's a reach, but okay, okay. Now, let me tell you all the multiple reasons why you're wrong, though. One, why would I have to have somebody set you up? You're a nobody. Nobody knows you. Nobody cares about you. Two, yes, you told me to shut up and push me. But, like, is that reason enough to set you up? No. Three, if I was to set up anybody, it would be Roly before I set you up. Four, how do... I even know that my quote unquote fan would fan or friend, whoever, would know who you are, ET. Okay. So Biggie, reason number five, I believe I'm on. Biggie kept saying, I don't know you to have beef with you. And everybody kept trying to say, You do know her. You do know her. She was at the baddies. East. That don't mean I know you. Bitch, what's your favorite color? What's your mama name? What's your last name? Bitch, what's your real name? I don't know you. And everybody was trying to be like, you do know her. No, the fuck I don't. Just because I have seen her, I maybe said hello to her, that does not mean that I know her. Period. Like, the fuck? What, what was going up for everybody's heads? I honestly don't think Biggie set her up. Um, I do feel like E.T. is taking this and running with it because contrary to what you think, E.T., how Biggie quote unquote runs screen time. No, bitch, you want screen time because unlike what you said in your live, how Taseki's sister, Krishan, was her storyline. And now she's gone. Krishan was your storyline, too, bitch. And she's gone. So you're doing everything in your power to make your presence known here on Zeus, which you should do. But how you're doing it is the wrong way. You starting fights out of nothing. Like, girl, bye. Don't nobody need to set you up. And reason number six I believe I'm on, if I was to have set you up, 
Obviously, you're still here in the flesh without a mark on you. So the person who I sent to set you up didn't do a good job. So I would be here trying to finish the job. Like, and Biggie wasn't on none of that. So it just wasn't adding up. You're trying to make sense out of change, and it ain't. I just made that up. Is that a good saying, sense out of change? <laughs> I'm trying to make sense out of a dollar, bitch, and it ain't added up. I like that one better. I like that one better. <laughs> but, yeah, just some side notes. Suki was doing way too much. I was like, Suki, shut the fuck up. Just be quiet. E.T. didn't do nothing to Biggie. Biggie weaved that first one. Then she just grabbed her hair like, girl, what? And they got the nerve to talk about I eat. Oh, do you, Taseki? Okay, you still in lines, bitch? You still in lines? I also wanted to know how Biggie had this, <laughs> had the band to hold down her lace, right? But when the wig came off, the band stayed on. Can we make it make sense? Let's talk about Roly. Rolly look like she can't spell, y'all. She handed out these thin-ass, <laughs> notebook paper-ass eviction notices, and she's gotten so many in her life that I'm pretty sure she knows how at least it's worded, regardless if it's spelled right or not. She gives Biggie one. Biggie just put this shit in her pocket. Like, what are you talking about? She goes and gives Smiley one. Smiley reads it, and she's like, okay, bye. Like, ain't nobody bothered. Ain't nobody phased. You ain't do nothing. You thought that was about to be a moment, but it wasn't, bitch. Fold your paper up. <laughs> Make a paper hot dog, bitch. <laughs> Get the shit out of my face, okay? And y'all, Natalie, Natalie, with her high booty ass, got the nerve to tell Biggie, well, you've been evicted, and she's packing your stuff right now. Now, obviously, Biggie is confused because contractually, we signed that we're can't, we can't touch people's stuff. And now it's like, well, I'm just giving you a warning. She's up there touching your stuff right now. Well, hold on, Miss EP. Ain't it your job to make sure that this doesn't happen? Hmm, not this EP, not this EP. So everybody's trying to big Biggie up and tell her to go, you know, defend herself, go get her stuff. But Biggie is just really confused. And I'm just thinking, well, Biggie, sue the bitch. Sue the bitch for everything she got, Biggie. Sue the bitch for all them badass synthetic ass wigs. Sue her for that food she wrapped that she got around her head. Sue her for all them badass club outfits, bitch. Sue the pimple off her face, bitch. Sue the scar off her chin, bitch. Sue her for the remainder of that chipped tooth. That's in her mouth, okay, bitch? Sue her for everything she got. Sue her for all the cockroaches that's crawling around on them cattle tops right now as we speaking, okay? Sue that bitch for her EBT card. But hold on, Biggie. When you get the EBT card, be the plug, okay? Because it's hard out here for a pimp. But this whack ass bitch is real life upstairs trying to pack Biggie stuff, trying so desperately, so hard, so bad to prove that she's baddie. And uh, y'all want to, you know what? I don't tell people a lot of my pet peeves. I've told y'all one, I hate hypocritical people. The second one is when people touch my shit. If you want to see me flip out like Mariah Lynn flip out, touch my ish. E.T. would have been flying over that balcony. I would have beat E.T. so damn hard that I would have busted the pimple on her face. I would have beat that bitch so hard that she'd be cute now. I beat her better than her makeup artist ever could. I would have beat that bitch so hard she would have went back to now that's TV. Don't touch other people's stuff. If you can't afford it, don't touch it. Y'all know when y'all parents used to take y'all in the store? If you can't buy it, don't touch it. Don't even ask for it. That's giving hating ass broke bitch vibes. Why you touching my shit? And I hope Biggie let her ass out for that. So next week, um, we're going to see the continuation of this altercation. But we're also going to see Biggie pop up at an event. I guess she wasn't invited to this one. Hopefully, she doesn't really leave the house. But uh, she pops E.T. on the side of her face. Come on, Biggie. You didn't even get a good lick in. And then you got E.T. with this sneak setup. Like, somebody come get that little brother. Please come get that little brother. And how you going to try to throw water on her out of a water bottle? Bitch, think smart. Think smart. The fuck? Anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content when I drop it. Um, especially if you are here for all the Zeus stuff. They got multiple shows coming out. So it looks like I'll be doing Zeus for a little while longer. I'm also about to get back into my throwback uh, Thursday bag with throwback movie reviews. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And run up all my other reviews the same way y'all show love for the Zeus. If y'all really F with my commentary... You will F with all my videos, not just the ratchet. Okay? Okay. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.